Good morning. During this challenging year of the COVID pandemic, and in the interest of public health and safety, my office worked with the Vermont Legislature, our hardworking city and town clerks, and their poll workers to ensure that Vermonters had access to their right to vote. I also want to thank the Secretary of State's election team who have worked tirelessly since March. All of the hard work, focus, and attention to details have resulted in a safe, secure, accurate, and accessible election. Today we are meeting as our states all around the U.S. to complete our duties for the Electoral College. It is also ironic, I think, today that today is the day that George Washington died. Thank you, Wilson. The U.S. Electoral College, required by Article II of the U.S. Constitution, meets every four years with one purpose, to elect the President and Vice President. Each state appoints its electors, as set forth by the legislature, to have a number of electors equal to the number of its congressional delegation. Federal law dictates that the Electoral College be held on the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December for all states. All presidential candidates who appeared on the ballot were required to nominate electors. Vermont's November 3rd general election results were certified on Tuesday, November 10th by designees of the Republican, Democratic, Progressive Parties, and me. In your packet is a copy of the Certificate of Ascertainment, which was previously sent to the National Archives. The relevant vote totals are Joseph R. Biden and Kamala D. Harris, Democratic, 242,820 votes, 65% of the vote. Donald J. Trump and Michael R. Pence, Republican, 112,000 votes, 112,704 votes, or 30%. Elected at their party convention per Vermont statute, 17 VSA 2721, are the following Vermont presidential electors for the 2020 Electoral College. Terry Anderson, Linda Gravel, and Keisha Rahm. I will now administer the oath of allegiance and the oath of office as required by the Vermont Constitution. If you would stand and raise your right hand. I state your name. Do solemnly, swear Do solemnly swear that I will be true and faithful to the state of Vermont that I will be true and, faithful to the state of Vermont. and that I will not directly or indirectly do any act or thing injurious to the Constitution or government thereof. So help me God under pains and penalties of perjury. That was the oath of allegiance. Now we'll do the oath of office. I state your name. I, Terry Anderson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of. That I will faithfully execute the office of. Presidential elector for the state of Vermont. Presidential elector for the state of Vermont. And will therein do equal right and justice. To all, persons, to all persons, to the best of my judgment and ability, according to law. So help me God, under the pains and penalties of perjury. Thank you. You're now sworn in. You have your uh, oaths in your packet that you need to sign and date. Give them just a second. Thank 
Okay, looks like everybody's set. Next, the electors will now cast their votes on the ballots that have been provided for the president and for vice president. They are separate ballots, and then sign the certificate of vote. Either way, just so, so it's clear. And we signed it on the ballot? No. Okay. No. We're in that on the certificate of vote. I, I'll hand that out. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll take your ballot. At this point, just focus on the ballots. Eric will, or uh, JP will pick those up. Having completed the election, uh, the casting of the ballots, I can report that we have three votes for uh, President-elect Bi Joseph Biden and three votes for Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Um, is this when you're? This is the certificate of their vote. They have to sign. Yep. All right, next we will have them sign the certificate of vote. Because of all the people we have to send these to, and I'll tell you who they are in a second, but uh, there's six copies that they're signing. You have them all, JP? Yes. Okay. So original copies of the certificate of vote and the, cert and the certificate of ascertainment will now be sent to the U.S. National Archives, to the Vice President serving as President of the U.S. Senate, to the Chief Judge of the Vermont Federal Court, and to me as Vermont Secretary of State. The votes of the Electoral College will be counted by the U.S. Congress on the sixth day of January 2021. 
Having completed the duties set forth, I now adjourn this constitutionally required meeting of the 2020 Electoral College. Thank you.